Hi, I'm Gloria Marshall from One Church at Harvest Point, and our devotional today is Spiritual Maturity. It comes from the first chapter of Colossians, verses 9 through 10. I'll read them for you. And so, from the day we heard, we have not ceased to pray for you, asking that you may be filled with the knowledge of his will in all spiritual wisdom and understanding, so as to walk in a manner worthy of the Lord, fully pleasing to him, bearing fruit in every good work and increasing in the knowledge of God. May I ask you a question? How do you make decisions? New research says that adults make as many as 35,000 decisions each day. We make so many decisions, in fact, that most of the time we aren't even aware that we are deciding. The alarm clock goes off and without even thinking about it, we press snooze and turn to get nine more minutes of sleep. But how do you make those other decisions, those informed decisions about finances, you know, how you spend your money, personal relationships, and children? Where do you go for counsel? Is there someone you're trying to please or impress? And what if the choice is not just between good and bad, but between good and best. How can we know what is right, what is true? Leadership coach John Maxwell said, life is a matter of choices and every choice you make, makes you. In other words, our lives are shaped by the choices and decisions we make each day. And God wants us to make choices and decisions that please Him. In our focus verse today, Paul prays that we might be filled with the knowledge of God's will so that we might walk worthy of the Lord, fully pleasing Him. The word walk here refers to the way we live our daily lives. So did you get that? Paul is praying that we will know God's will so that we can do God's will. But how can we do that? I'm so glad you asked. Well, just as babies grow physically stronger by eating physical food, we grow spiritually stronger by eating spiritual food. And y'all already know that we all eat more than one meal each day. So, start with reading your Bible. God reveals himself through his word. Meet with him in prayer each day. Seek his counsel and direction. And then be very, very quiet and listen intently for his still, small voice. And then when you hear him, obey him. Our obedience is pleasing to God. And in our obedience, may we bear much fruit. Let us pray together. Our Father, we love you. Thank you for loving us. Thank you for revealing yourself to us and inviting us into an intimate relationship with you. Help us, Lord God, to learn to recognize your voice. And then, Father God, when we hear from you, Give us the strength and the courage to walk in your way and not our own. Father God, we want to please you in all that we do. We ask all these things, Lord God, in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen.